Well, DrupalCon Portland 2022 is in the books. It was a great event. And now we're looking at Drupal 11. Yeah, Drupal 11. Hi, my name is Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. And yep, that's what I said. In a couple of posts last week, Dree started outlining all of the Drupal 11 initiatives. And I'm telling you, I'm pretty excited. I'm most excited for what Dries has defined as the ambitious site builder. This is awesome. Let's take a look. I'm over here at Dries' blog. The link is in the screen and in the description below. And he begins to define the audience for Drupal 11 as the ambitious site builder. This is an awesome phrase. What is an ambitious site builder? Well, if we scroll down here a little bit, this is what an ambitious site builder is. Someone who doesn't write tons of code, but doesn't just use drag and drop. They're somewhere in the middle. Most of the configuration is done through the UI, but they're not afraid to write some code. Their typical tool of choice then is Drupal. And absolutely. So again, here it is. An ambitious site builder can get a lot of things done by installing and configuring modules and using Drupal through the UI. But when needed, they can do some custom code to make their site exactly how they want it to be. Ambitious site builders are the reason why Drupal became so successful in the first place. And I'm really excited to see this particular definition. Over the past 10 years, I've taught, we tried to figure it out a little while ago, around 50,000 people how to use Drupal between all of the live training that we've done, all of the YouTube videos we've put out over the years, the training at LinkedIn, the training at different places. I'm guessing, but based on all of the views we get and all the people that we've actually met with face to face and over Zoom over the last couple of years, yeah, it's around 50,000. A lot of those people go on to be exactly what Dries calls them here, ambitious site builders. Some people are content to just be able to install a module and create a node. But most of my students end up becoming something in the middle where, okay, they're not hardcore developers. They're not going to ever probably contribute to core, but they sure can create a new theme or work on a custom module. Because in Drupal 9, well, starting with Drupal 8, once we shifted from 7 to 8 and we moved to the Symfony framework, we moved to object-oriented PHP instead of procedural PHP. We moved to a new templating engine. Things like creating themes and custom modules have actually gotten easier for people with a broader range of understanding and knowledge to dive into. So this idea of an ambitious site builder is really awesome. In a more recent post, Dries went through the plan for Drupal 11 and unveiled the initiatives. And here they are. Project browser, with quality metrics, starter templates in core and on drupal.org. Boy, that's going to be huge. Automated updates. Woohoo! GitLab project completion, a smaller core. Eh, I'm struggling with that one a little bit, but when I sat down and thought about it, yeah, there's probably about 15 modules I've never installed. And, you know, again, when was the last time you used the book module, for instance, or some of those other ones? So maybe a Trimmer core is a great thing. And then finally, keeping Drupal up to date and secure with Drupal 11 readiness. That's always been a priority in the Drupal community and a welcome one at that, of course. As you scroll down through this blog post, there are videos and explanations for each of the major initiatives. And it's really, really worth reading. Again, the link is in the description below. So this idea that we're already talking about Drupal 11, even before Drupal 10 has landed, is kind of weird. But you know what? Wow, I'm pretty excited. I think this idea of an ambitious site builder is exactly where most of my students end up being. As I mentioned earlier, you're not going to be in the code all the time, but you don't feel necessarily uncomfortable at least looking at it and maybe adding to it as you need to. One of the things I appreciate about the Drupal community, unlike maybe some other open source projects, is that they're trying to get beyond the idea that the only people that matter are the developers. And while there is no project without the developers, there is no project without all the rest of us who aren't hardcore developers. We're advanced users of Drupal, ambitious site builders. And I think that's awesome. 
Thanks for joining me today. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. My name's Rod Martin. Would you like, subscribe? Hey, we'll see you next time.